to this um, video um, on Stepford County Railways. This is a route learning video on the route from Stepford Central to Morganstown. Um, unfortunately, uh, I can't give you any information on the 350. There's another one. I wonder where he's going. We'll see soon. Anyway, this is a route learning video and how to drive safely on this route as it, is, as it can get quite busy at times. So, um, I just want to see where this guy's going because if he's going to Morganstown, I might have to do another route. Because um, I don't want him stuck behind me. He's going to Morganstown. Annoying. Oh, nope, going to late instead of the road, okay. Okay, so as we depart, um, oh, as we depart, um, Stepford Central, there is a 45 um, limit, um, which you should follow. Because um, of safety and Morgan's to make you look better, and to please Stepford. HRs, and then you can go up to 100 miles an hour. I like to stay around 90, just so you have a good approach speed into Stepford East. AWS there, that means we are on a double yellow aspect, that means a precaution. Now we're on a single yellow aspect, which I will now slow down to 45 miles an hour for um, a slow approach onto the signal so we have a safe stopping distance. Because the next thing, because the next si signal will probably be a danger aspect. which I am correct. At this station there is a dispatcher um, he will dispatch the train the doors will close he will give me the whistle and I will have the permission to leave the station. Just go outside this to um, see this see if he said anything no. just have to lock down the train to make sure it is all safe and there are no passengers getting on while the doors are closing. Need to wait for the TRTS from the signaller. There we go. He should now dispatch us. There we go. Got a passenger. Doors closing. Wait a couple of seconds before departing. Now out of the station I suggest you get up to 45 before climbing to a higher speed. Let's check our timetable. This is a connect train to Morganstown. The next station is but up to 75 before Street. climbing another section of speed. Off to the left here we have the white field section and just to our left as well we have the um, new express uh, lines I think. Now we have a double yellow aspect so that means the next one will be a caution which means we will slow down to 45 for a slow approach onto the danger signal. I am correct on this one, there is a danger signal at St Helens Bridge. Our approach speed will be 45 miles an hour, slowing down as we come into the station. It's quite a full board actually. Given a nice slow approach speed and we do have a, um, a signal board, oh, I forgot what they're called, at the station. 
And we also have an air link passing us. This shows um, this shows that the signal will either be at a precaution, caution, or um, proceed aspect. As soon as the doors close, the signaler should change the signal to a proceed aspect. So I'd climb up to 45, like I said, before, before going up to a higher speed. Now, from my no, from my knowledge, of the speed limit all the way in between um, the junction at St Helens Bridge is 75 miles an hour, which is a safe speed to go around the next couple of corners, um, like this one, and then turning back. We will be passing a couple of stations. Oh, I forgot about 350s and 10. Uh, we are, do not stop here, so we are going to give a small warning horn to let us, to let the people on the station know we are not stopping. An announcement will or or will have already been said on the platform to let the uh, people or passengers and um, that we are not stopping as well just gonna slow down now because there is not a long distance in between Ellesmere Pond and Ellesmere Junction this train is now approaching Ellesmere Junction Hold down the side of the train just to make sure we are all safe. My passenger probably got off at St Helens Bridge. Depending on what train you have is depending on what speed your train goes. So the 350 has a top speed of 110 miles an hour. This is the, um, I think it's the Dash 2. No, it's the Dash 3. The Dash 3 has a top speed of 115 miles an hour, um, but they can't extend um, the speed limit to 115 miles an hour due to the physics in the game. So we do have a cautionary signal now. Um, I know that is just the approach um, because this station is also a terminating station. Um, so I'm going to slow down to 45 over this junction for a fast, for a slow and safe approach. We are a couple of minutes late, so we will have a faster approach and faster acceleration from these stations to pick up some time, but doing it in a safe way. So we will get a quick um, acceleration off the line here, off the station here, and then have a quick approach into the next station. The next station is East Barony. We should arrive into Morganstown just two minutes later. If and that's at its maximum.
This is East Berry. We need to look at this. We need to look at the window because I did not see any passengers on my train um, and any on the platform. Give a warning horn to let us know that we're going off. So that was a late AWS, so we have a cautionary signal now, and that is just to let us know that we're coming into a terminating station. I think there's a water line somewhere. It's over there. Yes. So the approach speed, the, the approach speed into this station is 65 miles an hour, um, but I like to say it's around 50. 60 miles an hour. I'd like say it's around 50 for a safe and slow approach to make it more comfortable for the passengers. Going over the junction here is quite a challenge as it is quite curvy and sharp, and so I like to take a 30 mile an hour into approach into the station um, to make it more comfortable for the passengers. Give it a nice slow approach up to a safe stop. I'd say around tw five meters, uh, five to ten meters from the buffers on this station. Um, do not stop at the S car markers um, because they are too close to the buffers. And there we are. That is how is to um, drive the Stepford Central to Morgan Road safely. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you next time.